Hey guys, this is Comic You Know and Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing a topic video on three worst love interests in comics. And the person who recommended this was DNGN, so if you want to go check out his channel in the description below, there is a link. And guys, sorry it's been a while since I've done a topic video on this channel. Um, just a really, really busy month, so I actually found a little time today to record this video, so let's get started. Uh, so first couple I want to talk about uh, is, oh, and also just want to say if you guys have any recommendations for future topic, uh, topic videos, please let me know in the comments below. If I answer them, that means in a couple of weeks it'll either be on Comic Inno or Comic Frontline, because I double dose my topic videos, usually for Comic Frontline I have them every Sunday or Monday, and for Comic Inno I have them every Friday with my comic book reviews, so be sure to recommend away. But let's start talking about this topic. Um, Again, three worst love interests in comics. Uh, first uh, worst love interest is Kyle Rayner and Carol Ferris. So this is a more recent relationship that just... Why? Why did, why did we need them together? Uh, you know, I did not read all New Guardians just because I didn't really like the book too much. But I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Carol Ferris and I, I keep saying she's a character that is so underutilized uh, and, and still underutilized since she's gotten her ring years and years ago before even the New 52. And they really just don't utilize the character um, a lot. A little, obviously, a bit in Jeff John's run, but after that, they just didn't know what to do with her. Uh, so they put her in this relationship with Kyle Rayner, and it was weird, and it didn't work, and now, where's Carol Ferris? I don't even know. We really haven't seen her, so uh, hopefully we see her soon. Next couple is, of course, um, Hank Pym and, and Janet Van Dyne. Now, I think this is a more controversial one, um, but... The reasoning, obviously, a lot of times it didn't work out with them. You have the infinite, infamous slap uh, in in the older comics from Hank Pym. So, and even, I kind of like the way they did it. Well, don't like it, how they did it. But it was an interesting story of how they dealt with their relationship in the Ultimate Universe also. Uh, but they're definitely on my list. And uh, last is uh, Ray Palmer and Gene Loring. Um... Obviously, we get to see their their relationship um, at its worst in um, in Identity Crisis, but they had problems before that. They were divorced. Um, they actually made a slight reference to that in um, this week's DC Rebirth. Uh, so, yeah, you know they they definitely had a lot of a lot of bumps, and uh, they, they they are definitely one of the worst relationships I can. Uh, I can remember in comic books. So let me know in the comments below what do you think are the worst relationships in comic books. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to mention Aunt May and Dr. Octopus almost getting married, I'm sure. Um, well, yeah, these are the three I picked, so let me know. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page um, of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.